everybody. Happy Wellness Wednesday. How's everybody doing today? This is Melanie Wagner and I am a team leader within Living Essential Oils and I'm also a lover of all things healthy and or organic, groovy, crunchy mama. And uh, I'm so glad you're joining me here today and we are going to talk about um, my mantra. So for the longest time, actually starting back in about 2000, I know you guys have heard my story before. I was, um, I kind of dove into the health and wellness world when I had my third baby because I wanted our family to be healthy and I knew there had to be a better way. So I started researching and everything I came up with was a really consistent theme of food is life. So I was, um, I was really excited that our family could just eat healthy and I could see a difference in my children and in myself. And um, for 13 years, we just kind of trucked along doing that and feeling great. But there was a true aspect to my life that I never would address. And that was really um, emotional health. And I'll tell you, uh, one of my favorite motivational speakers is a man named Les Brown. And he actually said there was a point in his life when he asked himself, is it what I'm eating or what's eating me? And I think a lot of times we really don't address that aspect. And even though eating healthy is so important and it truly is, I mean, I just believe God gave us food for a reason. Um, but there, um, there are, I guess the aspects of our life we can look at kind of like my friend, Dr. Jim Bob Haggerton said, you can look at life like a triangle and the stressors of life like a triangle. Hey, Megan, how are you doing? The stressors of life kind of like a triangle. And so there's the physical aspect, which is, you know, is what our bodies go through stress wise. There are the chemical and toxin aspect, which would be like the bottom of the triangle. That would be things like uh, what you're exposed to, maybe what you're using to clean your home, what's around you. But there's another little aspect to that triangle, and that's the one that we don't always look at, and it is the emotional aspect of our life. And a lot of times, if we don't get that taken care of, it truly can eat our lunch. And I'm not going to dive deep into this today, because I want you to just really think on those words and really explore the fact that it's known that 97% of all sickness I mean, I'm sorry, 87% of all sickness is linked to stress. And the stress in our life is usually um, something that we take in and store and it can become so toxic. So I just love the fact that I'm able to um, teach you guys about health and nutrition. I'm telling you, I really do love it. I feel like it's my mission. But if we don't uh, address the emotional aspect of, um, of health, we're truly missing a huge piece of the puzzle. So what little nuggets can I leave with you today to help you um, access that, especially if you don't use essential oils? Um, for me, when I started using oils in 2013, I used them because I wanted their physical benefits. I diffused them in my home. I, you know, I applied them topically to my body. The ones that um, were FDA approved to be taken internally, I began using internally. And I noticed physical wellness, um, and I was thankful for that. But I didn't even understand that I was truly also unearthing um, the emotional aspect of that of the wellness as well using essential oils. So if you don't have essential oils and you want to come up with ways to de-stress, I'm sorry, I can't help you. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. There are ways you can do it. And obviously, those are things you can do that are simple. Um, you can get outside every day, get some sunshine, um, be, out in the, be out in the sun at least 20 minutes, um, go out for a walk, go outside with no shoes on. I'm not kidding. My neighbor across the street just thinks I'm a total straight up hippie because if it is over 70 degrees or even 65-ish, I will go outside my bare feet because I love to feel the grass and the earth beneath my feet. It's so good for you. Take a walk in the woods. Get up a little early every morning and have some quiet time. Take some deep breaths. Um, I am a Christian, so I love to pray and have quiet time. Um, you know, if meditation is something that you would want to explore, that's an important thing for you. Like I said, for me, it's obviously prayer. Um, there are just several steps you need to take because this is something we have to be proactive with. Again, if you look at it like a triangle, the top being physical stressors, the bottom of the triangle being toxins um, like around our environment and in our home, 
but the emotional stressors, you have to target all three of those in order to have total and complete wellness. So get out and enjoy some sunshine, take some deep breaths. Um, journaling is really a good, another way to de-stress. Um, and of course, I love to use my oils. This is a great book for all of you who are oilers. It's called Releasing Emotional Patterns with Essential Oils. This has been my go-to for many, many years now. It's all marked up and penciled in. And um, I hope that information helps you. So until next time, I want you to remember, just like the words of Jim Bob Haggerton again, health is simple. It's just not always easy. Emotional health is the same way. It's something we have to invest in every day in ourselves. And um, until next time we meet, I do pray that you are blessed as you continue to journey down this road and that in all ways you are happy, you are healthy, you are oily, and you live free. Talk to you guys later.